Meantime, the DOJ has filed a lawsuit against the state of Virginia over Governor Glenn Youngkin's executive order to purge voter rolls inside 90 days of the election. We want to discuss this legal challenge with the author of Rights and Freedoms in Peril, an investigative report on the left's attack on America, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. Uh, you know how much I love having you here, and in particular when it's a storyline like this one, because if you're an American, you don't want to be disenfranchised by having people on the voter rolls who either are passed on, moved out of state, or have no legal right to vote here, and yet the DOJ is fighting cleaning up the voter rolls. What could they possibly be thinking? Well, you know what they're thinking. Uh, it's the last minute, and they want to stop a state from doing what they're supposed to do day by day, which is to make sure non-citizens are on the rolls. And when they find them, they need to remove them immediately. And what they're doing is they're flipping a law that Judicial Watch has used successfully to remove 4 million people from the rolls over the last two years or so, mm -hmm. a law that requires the states to take reasonable steps to clean up the rolls. They're saying, well, that law means you can't remove these people. And it doesn't really fit because the process is allowed, obviously, for a systematic removal or, or cleanup of the rolls, which is very different than what the states are doing here, or Virginia is doing, which is day by day making sure someone who is on the roll is actually eligible yeah. in the sense of being a citizen. This is election rigging. And it sends a signal to every other state, every other election official, don't remove non-citizens from the rolls. And this act, this single lawsuit, whether it gets win, whether it's won or not, mm -hmm. will make it easier for aliens currently present on the rolls to vote in the election. A lot of people felt like motor voter was sort of a way to sneak that in. I mean, this has been happening for years and years. Uh, let me share this. This is from uh, Governor Glenn Youngkin in the uh, great state of Virginia. This is his response to the DOJ lawsuit. Quote, Virginians and Americans will see this for exactly what it is, a desperate attempt to attack the legitimacy of elections in the Commonwealth, the very crucible of American democracy. I will not stand idly by as this politically motivated action tries to interfere in our elections, period. I think what he said there about interfering in our elections is really the crux of the argument against the DOJ. If you, if you don't want to have the people who have a right to vote in this in this state have that chance, if you want to cancel their vote out by having someone who has absolutely no right to be here, that is against everything that this state and this country stands for. Well, I have a dirty little secret for you, Kevin. Mostly Democrats work in the Department of Justice. Ah. Very liberal Democrats mm. at, the civil, at the civil service level. So the Justice Department lawyers who are pushing this uh, in the bureaucracy are radical leftists by and large and they see, and there's a there's an opportunity here uh, to take care of the aliens that cross the border illegally and make it easier for them to get away from voting because once they're on the list right they may even have the ID necessary to vote absolutely and this is the thing people have been arguing against for quite some time you cannot disenfranchise people by having someone cancel out their vote in effect